Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for December 10th of 2024 is titled The Great Meteor Storm of 1833. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image showing or an engraving, I guess I should say, of the great meteor storm from 1833. Now we get meteor showers all the time and they come regularly. And in those you might see a handful of meteors in an hour. Really good meteor shower, you might see one or two a minute. And that's if you're at a really dark site. Here in this time, we, there were actually 100,000 meteors. So they were coming much more regularly in these cases. And people saw lots of meteors as the Earth passed through part of the tail of a comet. So that was the comet known as Temple Tuttle. And the Earth was moving through that and moving through an unusually dense part of debris left behind by the comet. Now, meteor showers and meteor storms like this one are caused when Earth passes through the orbit of a comet. Now, the comet does not have to be there. As the comet moves through its orbit, when it gets close to the sun, material is vaporized from its surface. And some of that becomes the head and tail that we see of the comet. Well, as the comet fades, that material remains and it continues in the exact same orbit that the comet had. And if the Earth happens to pass through the orbit of that comet, then we will pick up some of that debris. Now how dense that debris is tells us how strong the meteor storm will be or a meteor shower depending on the strength. They're really the same thing. A meteor shower is what we typically get. If you get an unusually intense number of meteors, a large number of them, then you would call it a meteor storm. Now when these occur, they all seem to radiate from the same location. And you can kind of get an idea of that here as things are trending to come to a point up above the top of the image. So that is what we call the radiant point. And in this case, it was in the constellation of Leo. And that was when we went through this area and all of the material will seem to come in parallel to each other. And when we look out in the distance, parallel lines will seem to converge off in the distance. And that's the reason that we get a radiant point for a meteor shower. Now the meteor showers are named after the constellation from which they appear to re radiate. So this would have been part of the Leonids meteor shower that would have occurred in 1833 and occurs in November. Now, of course, we have other meteor showers, including the Geminids coming up later this week, that you have a chance to see those meteor showers as well. Now, will it be as great of a storm as we saw in 1833? Well, probably not, but you can still get a chance to see a few meteors coming through the sky later this week. So that was our picture of the day for December 10th of 2024. It was titled The Great Meteor Storm of 1833. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.